And like we said earlier, many in our community are still without power and one independent cooling center is stepping up to serve those in need all weekend long. The Booker T Alumni Center located at 1001 Redwood has been a safe and cool spot for people to come out to since yesterday. Organizers have been able to provide food, water and shelter to many who may not have it right now. They'll be serving hot dogs all afternoon and plan to serve again tomorrow morning starting at 11. In order to do so, organizers say they'd love to see folks bring even more donations of food and water so that they can best serve everyone in this time of need. But we're always uh, a proactive instead of active. And in the process we came together, the phone call through Mrs. Josie Brooks with the uh, Optimist Club and Mrs. Crystal Washington and uh, our counselor, uh, District Counselor Larry Nelson, as to what we can do to help the community, not only the community, but the city of Wichita Falls in general during this time of emergency. So I'm very appreciative of the churches like Evangel Temple that opened up for cooling off spots. Um, they even stayed open overnight. Those places are away from the communities that were most hit hard, the East Side District 2, North Side, Linwood, and the village just came on. People from the community just started helping, um, donating things, people that were able to donate. And it's been very much appreciated because we've had over 100 families come through here with kids. Uh, we had 65 cases of water that just went out like that. Um, and people are steady bringing waters, Gatorade. So it was very important. They are still accepting donations of food, water, and Gatorade so that they can continue helping through the weekend. They'll even be serving a hot meal tomorrow at 3 p.m. You can drop items off at the Booker T Alumni Center located at 1001 Redwood Avenue.